What's going on guys? We're back here at Kelly and Sons Trailers over here in Carlton, Michigan. I'm really pumped about this. I know I'm excited, but I'll tell you who's really excited about this. Todd, Todd is Total Turf. What's up, brother? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Dude, good I'm doing you. good, man. Awesome. Todd's part of our Link membership. Todd's been to LAL a couple times. Yes, sir. You're over in Minnesota? No, I'm in Heartland, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yep. Why, do I, why do I keep getting that wrong? Wisconsin cheese curds. See? Yes, I'll, 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 yeah. I'll relate the name to where he lives, right? That's how you remember <laughs> people's names. You're over here in Carlton, Michigan. You don't live here. What, what the heck are you doing, brother? I, I tell you what, I, I came to LAL uh, last year. Okay. And during one of your breaks, uh, we went outside and uh, we're looking at all the equipment that you had out there. And, and Sue happened to have a, a, a shirt track trailer out there and I've been wanting to be in the market for buying a trailer I just didn't know exactly what to look for and I didn't you know I didn't know what I didn't know and so Sue answered all my questions and I asked her well can I get this and I guess she'll well, absolutely can get this and get that I'm like so we hemmed and hawed about it and I think even before we left uh, to go back home at LAL I talked to the wife and she said you know I, I really like Sue and what the way that that uh, they presented themselves at the at the uh, at the event I think we're gonna go ahead and drive six and a half hours across the pond and, and buy a trailer from them there you go man <laughs> what, are we, what are we picking up today, by the way? We are picking up well, almost identical to what you have, except mine's white. There you go. It's, uh, it's a 8.5 by 20 foot Sure Track Landscape Pro. You excited? I, dude, I'm so stoked. <laughs> this thing is just so awesome. Be, be, <laughs> before we turned on the camera, he was fired up. <laughs> now he's all like stage fright because he's uh, just so fired up, dude. I know I am. No, no. I am. This is, this, is, this is good six years in the making here. We started off with you know, every, like, everybody else with a 5 by 10 trailer with a, a rusted out avalanche that is 2007 with 150,000 miles on it. It, you sure. know, fast forward eight years later, I'm sitting with a 2022 Chevy Silverado 2500 and, a, and an eight and a half 20 foot uh, sure track trailer, man. Dude, and I'm so pumped for you. It is. It's, you got to check this thing out. I man. know, it's, man. It's, we'll, we'll do a tour here in a quick yep. second. Do you mind if I get Sue on really quick? Absolutely. Miss Sue. She can tell you more about it than I can. Well, uh, we just did our video. Uh, if it probably came out before this one, but if anybody doesn't know who you are, um, Miss Sue Kelly, uh, Kelly and Sons Trailers. You want to give them a little 30 seconds on your background? Well, we've been selling trailers since 1992. Okay. And and we've been here in Carleton, Michigan uh, for almost this whole time. We sell good quality trailers. We sell, the majority of our trailers that we sell is SureTrack, open and enclosed. We also do, you know, uh, different other manufacturers and truck beds and stuff. But our claim to fame really is SureTrack trailers. Cool. And we would love it if anybody wanted to come down, take a look, take something home with you. It's springtime. We got lots of trailers in stock and ready to go. <laughs> there you go. What did you think when Todd was coming from LAL, bugging you during the, the, the demo? We usually do like an hour demo about three o'clock. We try to get people outside and kind of, you know, shake the, uh, the legs out a little bit. Was he bugging you, asking about the trailer? How'd that whole conversation Either one of you guys, how'd that go? I think it went great. I mean, it was very nice to talk to him and his wife. He was doing his homework, bottom line. And you got to do your homework. I mean, there's different qualities of trailers and stuff. And this sure track is the heaviest duty built one out there. It does come with a little bit of a different price tag. But if you want to work it every day and, and grow your business with it, it's, it's the way to go. So he was great. I enjoyed talking to both of them. And they left, um, well, of course, left the LAL event having learned so much more and everything and saying that they would be giving us a call and they did and they ordered it back in late October, November, but saying that they wanted to pick it up right now because it doesn't take that long to get it, but right. they just wanted to be able to come spring and um, and here he is getting it. I love it, I love it. Uh, you fired up, brother? I am fired up. No, it, it is, <laughs> it is uh, it's a long time coming, like I said, it's been a long journey here. Just doing it as a side hustle. I'm mostly a fertilizer and we control business. Okay. The main reason why I got this is just so that I can try and fit two machines on there. I still do some maintenance, uh, so, but I also like to keep my Z-spray on there as well. So if I can have a Z-spray on there, the Ferris on the other end, I can cut a lawn at one time, turn around, grab the Z-spray and, like and go ahead and service it right away too. So. Uh, with having this this heavy built trailer, I know it's going to last a long time, and I'm going to be able to, you know, get up in the morning, load it all up for the day, and never have to come back. And I that's, love that's it. That's exactly the reason why I wanted to get something as well built as a sure track, and and I, I think I'm going to be really happy with it. Dude, I'm fired up for you. Yeah. All right, well, let's pan to the camera or pan the camera, pan to the trailer. Uh, here, come on in. You got to present like Van always said. If, right. if you guys are in the videos, you got to present over the shoulder. Okay. I only got that wide of an angle of the lens, right? I do have a wide angle here. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we got a big trailer, right? For yeah, all I do. Of us. All right. That's why we all bet these big trucks. We've all been eating pretty good, you know? Yeah. Let's go. Um, all right, so let me ask you this. Uh, is the business colors white? Like, what made you go with the white color and the chrome? By the way, I love the white and the chrome. Uh, a lot of the companies here locally, most landscape companies are white or gray. Mm -hmm. The white with the chrome on the shirt track looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, this thing is going to be so standing out in your market. Like, I'm pumped for it. So what, what do you think about the white? I had a choice because it looked good both in white and black, but it just seemed like a lot of people in my area have black. Okay. But it also, I was thinking about the heat. How hot would it be in the middle of summer? Sure. You know, having a black trailer like that, is it going to, you know, is it going to add more heat when you got the hot machines inside there? How is it all really going to vent? And, and I just didn't, I just thought it would, 
just be for that reason only just to stay away from from the black and go with the white okay and with my logo here being green with the checkers and stuff on there i just thought it really popped we bought her here, my wife here brenda a uh, sweatshirt uh with it was all white and green back there and uh when i get the logo all i'll looked up in here and, and hooked up on the trailer i really think it's gonna really pop and look good and i'm really trying to brand it to try and separate i don't want anything too gaudy on there i think i put a post in a link membership uh just a couple days ago asking for you guys to give yeah, me some was, help with that i was checking that out yeah, too no you sent me some good examples it was really cool and, and i got some really good ideas to have it really look um you know fresh professional but not too over the top and that's kind of what i'm shooting for um one other question eight and a half by 20 so you can get 16 18 20 Maybe even more options. I'm not entirely sure. As soon as you go a lot longer than that. Eight and a half by 16 was a great size for us. Two units, but pretty compact. Uh, I would encourage folks to go with at least an 18. Yep. I think, Sue, you said 20 is the number one selling size. Definitely. Number one selling size. It was a price point two for two. I mean, eight and a half by 18 and going to a 20 was, I think, only like four or $500 extra. And when you're you know, spending the kind of money that you are on these, why not get that extra room? You're never going to regret it, I don't think. Uh, so. I, I love it. Yeah. And so the 20 foot, you were saying one or two mowers or maybe three units in here for you. If I can, I got a, I got a Z spray, I got a Ferris mower, 52 inch Ferris, and I also got uh, uh, one of them Stinger uh, aerators too. Oh, so yeah. that's a little more compact. I might be able to get all three of them in there. I Absolutely. Have to Absolutely. check that out and stuff like that so i might be able to go to a property say in fall uh do a fall cleanup mulch the leaves up and do whatever grab some fall fertilizer or grab my aerator aerated overseed and fertilize it i can handle that property and do three different jobs all at once dude and that's slow down slow down you're giving, <laughs> you're giving away the farm here bro you got you got your 50 or 60 dollar cut yeah you've got uh what's a fur app i don't know 60 bucks yeah about 65 70 bucks Se 70 dollar fur app yep. aeration i mean what 150 bucks yeah 200 bucks so 135 and up. Yeah. yeah, so that's, uh, help me out with the math. What was that, $250 on a visit? Sure. Maybe in a good hour? Yeah, hour, hour and a half, if you haven't even go that long. Jeez. I don't know. Hey, but, how but, do you but, know your numbers, by the way? You know what, I, I watched LMM. I watched your YouTube video <laughs> and stuff, and I, I, just, I was able to, I was able to <laughs> hey. hey, hashtag here, and I'm not going to you. Hashtag LMM, and yeah. uh, Sue Kelly, you said you watched the, the reel the other day? Oh, yeah. I definitely did, but you know, you know your numbers, and LMN's gonna help you out because you know your numbers. <laughs> she goes, now you guys can afford your trailers because you know your numbers. She goes, I saw your pitch with LMN. We're like, yes, it's working. You know what I mean? So it's That's funny, right? There. It is too funny. So now, <laughs> now we can all buy 20 more of these things. But $250 uh, an hour production rates. I mean, yep. I mean that's a, a best case scenario. But like, right. dude, now you can start having the nicer equipment. Right. It, it all pays to play. And that's how you build a better profitable company. Exactly. And you're doing it. You're doing it right before our eyes, man. Yep. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's something that, like I said, it's all about production rates. It's all about getting the most done in the least amount of time, man. And when I was coming up with this plan and when I got done talking with Sue about the trailer and how I could set this thing up, I'm like, I think I can make this work. Man. The funny about it is about this price, I bought this trailer before I bought the truck. Oh, no so kidding. So it kind of forced me to have to buy the truck. Okay. <laughs> which the wife didn't really approve too much of that, but <laughs> yeah. And uh, there you so go. I said, well, if I buy the trailer, I'm going to be forced to have to buy a truck that can pull it because the uh, right. the Chevy 1500 wasn't going to pull this, yeah. this trailer fully loaded, so that wasn't going to happen. You want to do a little walk around, and go on the go on the ramp or something like that? Sure. Um, because you had some other points from your previous trailers yep. that you already. I was like, hey, I don't want to sell you on the Sure Track line. You're like, no, dude, I'm already sold because right. you've noticed the quality difference and the build difference. So anything like that you want to talk about? Again, I don't want to make it necessarily a big pitch for you know Sure Track, but at the same point, I do quality. Well, there you go. <laughs> quality, quality is quality. And it you, is. you spend a couple extra bucks, you get the nicer things it is you do become uh, appreciative of those things absolutely yeah the big thing right here is this transition ramp right here um, my old trailer is the one that she talked about that has the hinge on it flops up and back and stuff like that it gets crap in there it, it starts wearing down it's garbage it really is it's, it's something like i think you did with some of your other trailers you stick the darn thing right off right um and and that's just uh that, that's kind of what i really liked with with the start of this trailer this is the thing i really love here and this is this transition ramp here that goes from here and it folds up like that. Yeah. That, that is nice. Now I, with my uh, Ferris 52 inch, I run a big league long lawn striper. Oh yeah. I'm exclusively a lawn striper. I believe in those things. How do you like that thing by the way? I love it. It's like 450 bucks. It's like, a game changer. They look really nice. Yes, they do. I, I saw your video, you compared them side by side. No, the, the X mark one's trash. Yeah. No, no, the big league one, I need to get one. Yeah, those things are nice. I'm gonna get one on my radius. Yeah. For I my lawn. It. Absolutely. Okay. It's you a game got a changer. code? I don't, well, no, I don't have a code. I, I need to get Brian's, a code. I get Brian's stem code on there. I need your code. I don't have a code for big league so shout out the big league i know shout out the big league it is it is a game changer 
um, with my old trailer, I didn't have something like that to secure catch. that gap in there. And oh. sure enough, that big league long roller got caught in the middle, mm. folded back underneath my tires. I literally got <gasps> the more stuck in there. Holy cow. And completely trashed the roller. It was a $450 yeah? roller, gone. Holy cow. So I ended up having to get new parts and repair it all. So when Sue said that I could get this with the shirt track, I'm like, that's it. No that, that's solar I made right there. Dude. I mean, that's, that's just so awesome. Love it. Look at this, man. All right, so interior, where are we going there? Oh, let's go in here. You got the, uh, the heavy duty metal. Uh, Workbench? Yep. Holy yeah, this cow. is something that's a little bit different. And I had them, um, the, these I think come included too on most of the Landscape yeah, Pros. Standard, so yeah. you got trailer racks and stuff here, which is nice. I do have, uh, in my old trailer, I do have the equipment defender uh, racks. I did use Brian's 10 code hey, for that. There you go. But by the way, by the way, I, I got to buy this guy dinner at Equip Expo. <laughs> like, if you guys are using the codes, thank you. We're not trying to give you a picture. <laughs> Todd's like, we're going to have fun on this video. We are going to have fun. We're going to keep every, every time we're in Link, he's drinking the Kool-Aid, okay? Like, and every time we're in Link, like, we have great conversations, okay? So if we're having a little bit more than normal uh, friendly banter, it's because we have a lot of history here, all right? So let's let's keep going, but keep going. So <laughs> much like your trailer, you have just a shelf, I believe, in there, right? If they think I have just a regular shelf. Just regular shelf. Yep. And I like that idea, but Sue said what I could also do is have not only a shelf, but down here a workbench. Yeah. So if I need to work on any piece of equipment that uh, would require me working on a bench here, I can just fold this down and I can work on everything right here and then yep. you can fold this thing right back up. That's heavy if, duty. It is heavy duty. Yeah. It's, it, this thing is tight and it can fit your uh, my chemicals because I do do spring uh, applications. I'll be able to keep my jugs in there uh, to yep. keep them clean and um, separated. Just, yeah. Yep. And then just having all this cabinet space. I mean, this is a game changer. Have you right ever there. had the cabinet like space Never. before? Ever. I'm telling you, I get folks all the time. Where'd you get the cabinets? I'm like, hey, Sue, hey, Sue really quick. You got a second? Are the cabinets factory direct, or can people buy the uh, the cabinets? That's from the factory. That's because factory. they actually built everything build them in there. around it. So yeah, it's going to be from the factory. Okay. No, and the other cool. thing too is, is that is a totally flat front end. Yeah. So that's it's some of the um, some of the other trailers, even ones that SureTrack makes. Yeah. Um, it's got a little bit of a rounded front, which oh. makes it a little bit harder to put a cabinet up there. Makes sense. But this works perfect. Yeah. Us. Well, I have a lot of folks that always ask, "Hey, can I buy the cabinets uh, aftermarket?" I'm like, I don't think so. I think it's a dealer. Not a dealer, a uh, factory. Manufacturer. Manufacturer install mm -hmm. option. And I got yeah. friends in the construction business that might have been able to, <laughs> to put something in there for me, but I didn't know how good a quality that would, it's going to be. And like I said, when you're when you're putting in the money to buy the top end trailer like this, I just rather have the professionals take care of yeah. it right away and be done with it. Amen. And I couldn't be happier. I mean, these things are just, it's absolutely phenomenal how, uh, how this turned out. It's I, I actually don't know if I even want to put equipment in here. <laughs> 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 this thing's got to make money, but I don't know if I really want to do it. But it's, it's going to really make a... Everything in my business so much easier now. Moving forward. Yeah. Dude, I'm pumped for you, brother. Uh, th this is what it's all about, man. I, I feel like uh, your excitement is the same excitement I had six, seven years ago buying my first trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it's crazy. It's awesome, man. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Um, where, where are you going from here with the with the company? Um, anything else you want to bring up? But if not, we'll land the plane. But um, hey, where can people find you, by the way, if they well, want to catch up all on social? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at Tatters Total Turf Care on Instagram and on Facebook. Okay. Um, where the company's going from here, I really have no idea. I, I mean, I do have an idea, but I know that I wanted to build this company to be as efficient as a solar operator as I could. Cool. Uh, I like to give a shout out to Mitchell Gordy. Mitchell Gordy's kind of kind of a similar setup with the white truck and the camper yeah, and yeah, the trailer yeah. and stuff like that. He's so got he that was, ramp. Yes. Yeah. And so he gave me that kind of uh, inspiration to kind of got the ball rolling on this. So thank you, Mitchell, for that. Uh, other than that, yeah, I'm just looking to try and get as efficient as I can uh, and make the most money and try and catch up to you, man. Shoot, know. dude. <laughs> you'll be, you'll, you're going to be blown by me at this no, point. No, I don't right? think so. I don't think so. I, I, again, I'm genuinely excited for you, man. You got the tie downs I see, by the way. Yep. Like all these little nooks and crannies, there's always these little extras. You got lights, you got yep. uh, the vents, roof Events. Yep. Uh, I didn't go. I didn't go with the track like you did with yours, and Super up a really good point with that too. Uh, even though it is really nice in yours with me with the fertilizer and stuff, getting into them tracks could be kind of a problem getting that true. in there, and it could actually corrode them a little bit. Yep. So, yep. Um, I'm actually now grateful that I didn't get the, uh, the easy tracks put in here. So thank you, Super. You, you, <laughs> you can always add. Uh, some guys do it like along the wall. Yep. You know, I yep. think Bedell did that, didn't he? Yeah. Sure. He added yeah. some along the wall. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's yeah. what he did with uh, his fur trailer. So excellent. There you go. The more you know. Cool, man. All right, brother. Hey, thanks so much yeah. for stopping by. Thank you. Uh, Shout out all the way to Wisconsin, and uh, thank you guys for uh, watching the video. Um, give this guy a big thumbs up, man. Leave something encouraging in the comments down below. It's just awesome. I love seeing you guys grow. I love seeing people win. That's what our channel is all about. And um, thanks for coming to LAL. Thank you. But I'm glad that these like kind of relationships get brokered there. Um, not to make a sale, folks. It's, it, like, come on, expand your mind a little bit on this. It's about seeing people win and grow and build a family asset for these guys. Like, I mean, that's what it's all about. Sue, that's what your family's doing here. Thank you so much as well. Thank you. All right, cool. Guys, that's what we got for you on today's video. Uh, catch up with you guys here on the next one. Big thumbs up, and you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. We'll see you. Take ya. care.